Hi everybody, Jillian here for Creative Retreat. I'm here to share with you a process video using the December Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat. And so just really quickly, I wanna show you a few things that I'm going to be using for today's video. The first is this sticker sheet, and I took my color inspiration from this. And then I have this alpha sheet. It's from the October Faith Art Box, which I believe is still available. It goes pretty well with this aqua color that's in this month's kit. So I think I'm gonna bring these in and potentially use these for this entry. I know what supplies I wanna use, but at this point I'm just not not sure how it's all gonna come together. Um, I've grabbed some washi tape that I feel like matches the colors of the kits. I have the 3x4 stamp set from this month and then I have the Atticus Alpha stamp set that I have been reaching for every month. This is a great basic to have. I've also pulled some acrylic paints here. I pulled colors that matched the colors in the kit. I've got a, a paint palette here that I obviously don't clean very often and then just a big paint paintbrush and then I've got some water over here to my left because I may end up watering this color down so it's not so bright. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start with the paint. And I want to get a layer or a base coat of paint down and then create my entry on top of it. So I took some of that straw colored acrylic paint and I watered it down with a lot of water. I don't like to use watercolors in my Bible. Um, because I only have the cheap ones that are kind of chalky, but I do like the um, I do like how wa watered down acrylic paint turns out. So I just took this very large paintbrush. It came in like an economy pack, and I put it down on the page in three places. And then I took this mint colored um, acrylic paint and just kept it as is. I didn't water it down, and I used a smaller brush to kind of paint that around wherever the yellow was. I'm being very careful here to um, make sure that the paint doesn't seep through to the rest of my pages. Now it's very watery so it's really wet so I will end up taking my heat tool and helping it dry um, a little faster. Because I didn't saturate the page completely it is going to crinkle the page a little bit but it doesn't bother me at all and you can see on the back there's virtually no bleed through here it's just a little bit of shadow but it gets pretty wrinkly. Um, it is not an issue to stamp on top of that or to put stickers on top of that. And you'll see here in a, in a few seconds how I achieve that. I'm creating this entry in John 1 and I underlined verses 1 through 5, you'll see here. But I was really focusing on verses 1 and 3, which say, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 3, through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. And in other places like Romans 11:36, it says, for him and through him are all things. And so we've just come out of the Christmas season. And I know that for some in the past, including me, December or Christmas is this big build up to this one day, this one weekend or this one um, event. And when it's over, after, you know, we've counted down the days in Advent and we've celebrated together and we've done all the things, can feel like it can leave us feeling, or in, in my experience, it left me feeling a little deflated and that's when I was focusing on on all the wrong things and so I'm just creating this entry as a reminder to myself that Jesus came he's coming again and he is the reason for every season and that's the sentiment that I'm spelling out in the margin here so I took the stamp stamped his name down first used a journaling pen just to write underneath that the reason for and then took the alpha stickers in the mint and then the black and spelled out every reason every season and so I uh, I you can see I originally went with the mint there but I didn't want to have one block of uh, just one color it seemed a little heavy to me so that's why I mixed those two up and then I'm taking an, a pretty thin journaling pen here and just outlining the letters in the word every to um, give it a little more weight on the page I use this teal sticker underneath that that says my whole heart because I want Jesus to have my whole heart every day all year long and I'm basically just writing down what I said, wanting to keep the spirit of the season going through the rest of the year, anticipating Jesus uh, being a blessing to others or looking for opportunities to bless others um, all year long. I'm going to go through the sticker sheet after that and pull out some additional elements like these heart stickers. I'm going to use a couple of the labels and uh, this other circular sticker that says for his glory because that's really what it all is all about. 
And so I am gonna take some time here to layer this yellow sticker with the label because I feel like the label anchors it a little bit. I wanna use the this other label on the bottom as a place to date stamp this entry. And then I'm going to um, pick the stickers up and put them back down just to kind of um, decorate it a little more down there. In that black label up at the top, I simply wrote Amen uh, up there. And then the last thing I want to do to provide a little more interest, a little more texture to the page, is take some black acrylic paint and dip the end of my paintbrush in there and then just dot that around the page in a few places just to kind of move your eye around the entry um, and to just give a little more cohesion to the whole thing. Once that's done, I'm going to set that aside and let it dry for quite a while. <laughs> so that's it. Here's a finished look at my page along with a couple of close-ups. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in the December Faith Art Box, I've linked it in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time!